Community emergency response training is taking place in Paso Robles in order to mobilize community members willing to help after a disaster. KSBY News supporter Delaney White spoke to those coordinating the program about how to get involved. Coordinators with the program tell me if you're interested in volunteering, all you have to do is sign up and complete a 20 hour course. And while 20 hours is a pretty good chunk of time, they say it's worth it to be able to help the community in times of need. We always hear it is important to be prepared in the event of an emergency, but what does that really mean? This uh, recent uh, winter storm that we had, it was obvious a lot of people were not prepared for this. The Community Emergency Response Training Program is one way for community members to prepare to help out in the event emergency services are not immediately available. And helping with light uh, extrication on all those things that we might not be able to get to for 72 hours realistically. California is no stranger to natural disasters, experiencing floods, earthquakes, tsunamis, wildfires, and mudslides. Emergency services are sometimes overwhelmed by need during and after these events, being unable to respond immediately. This search class addresses disasters specific to the North San Luis Obispo County area, such as flooding, earthquakes, power outages, and wildfires. And uh, we talk about how to prepare for them, how to respond to them, and then how to recover from them afterwards. The City of Paso Robles Public Works Operations Manager tells us it's been a busy couple of weeks of flooding, landslides, road closures, and debris flows. Really doing a lot of damage assessment, uh, understanding uh, what's out there, what's a priority, what needs to be done. Uh, we've been doing a lot of cleanup on storm drains, lots of cleanup on debris. CERT aims to better prepare residents for the next disaster. During the CERT training program, participants learn to extinguish a small fire, participate in a structure search and rescue, terrorism disaster psychology, and basic first aid. The classes are free and are being held at the Paso Robles Fire Department. They are designed for families and anyone age 15 or older can participate. The class is offered twice a year, once in February and once in October. The February deadline has passed and the next class open for registration will be held in October. Uh, people really need to do this. Um, this is as vital as uh, having taken a CPR class. And if you're interested in signing up, all you have to do is email NorthSlowCountyCert at gmail.com to register today. Reporting in Paso Robles, Delaney White, KSBY News. The program is supported nationally by the Federal Emergency Management Agency and locally by Paso Robles Fire and Emergency Services.